What is going down, techies and Tekka? NVIDIA has rolled out a driver, and it is going to be tested, yes. If you're brand new to the network, my name is Mac, here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be sizing up the old versus the new in the game-ready drivers. The 496.13, which is the predecessor, and the 496.49, which is the brand new one, will be sized up. We'll look at some patch notes, some benchmarks, and scroll into what is happening in the brand new NVIDIA software driver update. Date. So, if you're newer to the network, hit the subscription button in company with the notification bell. Get excited and let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go ahead and start off with just the basic patch notes before we go into some benchmarks to see what the effectiveness is between the two. Right now, we can see that on the October portion of the game ready driver effectiveness, it includes some performance enhancements, newer features along that, and what we saw in the last driver but the new driver at this point in time you can kind of see as we scroll over here is that it's going to provide some support for marvel's avengers which is a brand new game for most people but the dlss is going to be the better portion now amd did the same thing they boasted a ton of experience and like i guess getting to the driver to perform really well and if you're having issues with your game this is literally a, probably a driver specifically tailored to a marvel game you know, lo and behold, a studio that has a lot of money to throw some stuff around can actually pay a driver. But if you are having and enjoying some stuff, because I, I did find out from my AMD driver size up, it wasn't that bad. But this is the NVIDIA one, so let's go ahead and continue down the list of what we actually can see is Age of Empire, Battlefield 2042, Early Access, and you also have some Forza, Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, and Jurassic Park Evolution 2 and Riders of the Republic. On top of that situation for new features and the other changes, the security and the security bulletin for the D GPU inside of the driver, you can see that they've released some stuff for as far as what is going to be a quote-unquote in hyphenated security driver. Now that could be good or bad, um, but at this point in time what we can see it is on the fixed list is Doom 3 comes down to visual and disruption. Tom Clancy's in the Division 2, flickering in the visual corruption that may appear in the extended gameplay for all you hardcore players out there. And then the LG OLED C1 series comes down to the portion where the random black screen flickers at the 1080p. Ah, not a good thing. As you can see what open issues there are, they're having some issues with the Vulcan integration for Red Dead Redemption 2. We have some great portions of the World Rally Championships and that falling short on some game crashing. Uh, Tom Clancy inside of the Ghost Beacon, which has always been in there for texture flicking. It also has a point of the Supreme Commanders 2 when you being performed a drop when the mouse movement. Uh, Deathloop comes into some TDR when occurring down to the Windows HDR enabled if the happen issue is there. Toggle HDR off and on, you should be making around. YouTube always makes the list. Sonic for the water, HDR inside of the mouse and the workaround on that one is the cursor. If it's sluggish, just, you know, give it a few seconds and click the left to right and it should come right back to life. Who would have knew? It's just one of those annoying things that's just there. The control panel also inside of the DGPU and the settings for as far as the cross of the reboot. So, definitely something cool to check out for as far as drivers. It's not extraordinarily special besides the support of what's happening with the Marvel's Avengers. So, let's go ahead and scroll out. And you can kind of see. Well, actually, we can go on a little bit. Make it a little bit easier. So, with the newer driver on the right and the older driver on the left. Hardware accelerator on on the top and off on the bottom. So, you have your little quadrant. So, brand new driver. Hardware accelerator off, on, and so forth as we size up old versus new. So, enough with the mousing around. We can see that we have the driver itself pulls ahead a little bit with the brand new driver with the hardware accelerator on. Now, the same thing was said with the driver in AMD. It added stability and it added some really cool just performance here and there in little hidden pockets. Uh, but when you're looking at the actual percentage scores, uh, sizing it up, it's nothing that's going to be like crazy. It's still 60 around the board. But percentage versus points, well, points give it to the brand new driver with the hardware accelerator on for once with the Windows ecosystem. This is strange. Looking at the cross, like, 
pattern here. Performance literally hexes its way into the reality of, well, on the old driver, it tanks with the hard row accelerator on. On the newer driver, it excels and it has consistency because we've seen in DirectX 12, both departments. Now, it definitely is going to be a toggle off and on on some games that you're playing for the newer driver, probably more than likely as you're playing Marvel's Avengers or maybe other games that are tailored around those kind of studios that that game is part of that probably take advantage of this tuning that happened to be in this driver and drivers, depending on what graphics drivers you are utilizing, AMD, Nvidia, or possibly Intel in the future. Should be really freaking cool. I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. But moving on past that, we can go ahead and take some Port Royale, drink in that ray tracing. And this made me test it over and over and over again, just because I was just like, is this for realsies? So newer driver is probably not going to be insanely good for ray tracing. That is its weak spot all up in front. If you look at the point wise, um, you can see that the percentage it doesn't beat. But if we're looking at the 7000 and I'm thinking, you know, 400 points versus the 800, that, that might be, you know, maybe some shine on water or maybe some glare on, you know, some ice or snow or thing like that and ray tracing or the shadows, whatever the heck they're doing with the pixels of ray tracing light to you making your world come to life but it definitely seems like the older driver hardware accelerator on excels yet again now if you're having issues with the newer one definitely ride the hardware accelerator on it seems to be the favored portion of the new driver we have been handed but how does it perform inside of the direct x11 compartment fire strike is going to be our next stroll down the park now this is where you see the bias standpoint for direct x12 it continues to show that the newer driver definitely does hold well with the hardware accelerator on but it does take a little bit of a step back now this is 4k we're just looking at the extreme portions of what a graphics card could run into uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the 1080p department we'll look at fire strike extreme and just fire strike by itself to see what matches up all right so taking a look right over here we can see that the extreme portion comes to the same results but the switch up is that the hardware accelerator off actually wins a little bit um, so it kind of seems like directx 11 is kind of a hot mess um point wise now percentage wise it should hold a tiny bit steadier but as you can see on the very bottom it definitely does give a little bit more tlc to the graphics department and you know, if you're running into issues with your DirectX 11 and you notice, just turn off your hardware accelerator. So it's more than likely the issue. And again, this is kind of a toggle update. It's not as stable as like AMD introduced, um, but there are some performance perks here and there. Now, luckily for a majority of people that aren't running heavy hardware upgrades like ultra settings and all these other fun things that you can tweak inside of game menus and that's really what the extreme testing is trying to get down to is just saying like well let's go ahead and turn up these settings and this setting and see what you can actually handle with your gpu and gaming in a synthetic test standpoint but that ecosystem drinked in you can kind of see that well the newer driver definitely does excel hardware accelerator off and on within the 1080p of just basic gaming so if you're just jumping on like a majority of people and not messing with your graphics accelerators you're not an enthusiast pixel for pixel which i am i'm insanely a pixel enthusiast uh but i like it i got good eyesight and i like looking at like pixels and making them look better and that's just my niche as long with other things of trade that i have that are pretty cool in the tech department most people watch my channel so with that being today should you install this well yes i think sometimes we will see that certain drivers will push us forward but the ecosystem of windows is really what is always a week or so behind so i think given the right ecosystem underneath this it has a lot of potential from stability of testing across the field with amd then coming with this and seeing a pretty good consistency with direct x12 but the fluttering effect instead of stuttering what they have inside of the literal driver of direct x11 now Port Royale, that's just a hot mess. They definitely need to address that. Like uh, that one, I can only imagine people are probably like, wait, what's going on? There's probably a lot of artifacting. You leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys and gals have to show for what you're experiencing out there in the playing field. If you're brand new, hit the subscription button. It's absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe Jensen will just release so many freaking graphics cards out there and saturate the damn market that there won't 
be a necessity to have like a you know really expensive graphics card but it is insane what they're producing nowadays with the 4000 series and beyond of what they will be getting into so stick tuned to the channel see what's next and i will see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and i'll see you there